guys. So I'm going to do my um, August favorites. I'm going to get right into it. I don't really have that many. I didn't even do one last month because I just absolutely didn't have anything. Um, but I decided I guess I'd go ahead and do one because I haven't done one in, like I said, a month. Um, I'm going to do, I have three eyeshadows and they're all MAC. And the first one is um, Naked Lunch. And it's just a really good all over the lid color. I've been really, really lazy with my makeup this month. Um, working and going to school and everything. Like, I've just been super, super lazy. So I've just been putting, like, either one color all over my lid and calling it a day. Or doing, like, one color in my lid, one color in my crease, and that's it. But it's just a really neutral, shimmery shade that I've been wearing a lot all over my lid. Another color that I've been wearing a lot all over my lid um, I've had for a while, but I've been using it lately. It's called Shroom, and I just really like this for all over the lid. It's a shimmery shadow as well, but it's not quite as shimmery as uh, Naked Lunch. So you can see it. Um, this one's right here. It's a little more muted of a color. And then the last one I got in a recent haul that I've actually filmed, but I haven't uploaded it yet. And it is... Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Ha ha, just kidding. Ah, nope, that's not it either. There it is. Um, sorry about that. But it's called Copper Plate. And Michelle, Michelle 1218 has been raving about this. So I was just like, well, why not? Because it's kind of a gray uh, with brown and purple undertones, I guess, but it is a matte shade. I really, really like this for crease work. Um, it looks really gray right there, but like I usually, I've been doing a lot of shroom all over the lid and the copper plate in the crease and calling it a day, and it's been working out really good for me. Um, the next thing is, has actually been one of my favorites before, just the Smolder Eye Coal. I just absolutely, every time I use this, I fall in love with it again and again. And so it's just a black eyeliner, but it's really creamy. I can't say it stays on my waterline because nothing stays on my waterline, but I just really, really, really like it. Um, it's one of my favorite black eyeliners I've ever owned. And not just because it's MAC, just because it's really good. Um, the next one is the Lumion Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. As you all know, I don't know if you can read that. Lumion, I don't know if I'm saying that right, by the way. I really don't care. But... As you all know, my favorite um, eye makeup remover in the entire world was the Victoria's Secret one, but I really didn't feel like going all the way out to the mall. So, I went to Ulta, and this was actually on sale, and I was like, why not? But it's actually really, really good. You don't need to use a lot of it. It's the kind, you know, the separate oil and water, or whatever. You can kind of see it starting to separate again, but it's really, really good stuff. Gets off everything in one fail swoop. Um, don't have to worry about anything, and I absolutely freaking adore it. It's good, good stuff. And I have one, I guess, quote-unquote, skincare product, and it is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Um, this is step three. I don't have the entire, the three step system. I only have this. I got this at a CCO. It was like $22 for this big thing, and I wanted it because it has this pump, which if you guys know anything about it, basically you just put a cotton ball or whatever down on this, and you just press it down. But I've had um, several compliments. Hair in my mouth. Ooh, that was a long one. Okay. Um, I've had several compliments on my, some of my recent videos about like how good my skin looks. I guess I didn't really pay attention to it. Um, but it's been pretty clear. Like I've got a couple like spots right here because I've just really been stressed from school and things like that. But that stuff has made such a huge difference for me. And I didn't, I guess I didn't really realize until someone brought it to my attention. I was like, wow, I guess my skin does look really clear. But I adore that. I just use, I use my face wash and then I'll use that um, after. And I, like after my, fa after I wash my face and it gets off all the dirt and it just leaves my skin feeling really, really clean. And I really like the way that feels. Sorry, I'm like fidgeting today. I don't know, my eyes are really itchy because I'm wearing contact. So it's, ugh, I'm getting... My, it's getting on my nerves. Anyways, um, the next thing is the Japanesque, Japanesque, yeah, uh, professional brush cleaner. And sad story, I bought a bottle of this, hadn't opened it yet, 
brought it on the plane with me to Mexico and I accidentally had it in my carry-on and the bitch took it. I was so mad. I was so irate. I know it's over three ounces, but I got out of the country with it in my carry-on and when I co was coming back from Mexico is when they took it. Oh, I was irate. Anyways, so I had to go buy a brand new one, but I'm so glad I did. This is actually like a dollar or two cheaper than, I got this at Ulta by the way, and this is like a dollar or two cheaper than the Ulta brand brush cleaner and I like this so much better. It smells like straight up oranges. Yeah, like straight up, straight up oranges. Yeah, oranges. But this stuff works really, really well. Like when you spray it on, okay, I'm going to see if I can do a little demonstration. I don't know how well this is going to work. Let me find a brush. Um, Let's use this one. Okay, here is my MAC 217. As you can see, it's brown. Um, or Actually, this is what I used for... I used copper plate today, so that's what it's on it. Anyways, okay. Um, when you spray this... I don't really know how well this is going to come on camera. I really hope this shows up. Hang on. When you spray this... Okay, if you can see that, you can actually literally... It's so not showing up on camera, but whatever. You can literally see like the color coming out of the bristles like really really well and I'm just swirling it on the little thing that I have right here and the color is completely gone like that I mean I've never had a daily brush cleaner work so good as I have this stuff so yeah absolutely love that that stuff's freaking awesome the next thing is um soft lips I, I use soft lips a lot like I have several of them but I recently got the it was like a double pack you get the vanilla and then you got the pearl soft lips and it's got just a really nice tint to it like a really like shimmery pink tint I don't even know it kind of looks like it's funny kind of looks like um, my eyes look kind of looks like naked launch but that's it right there just kind of shimmery um, smells really good I really like it it's more it's just as moisturizing as uh, the regular soft lips so I really really like that and um, let's see next I'll go ahead and do this I plan on doing an entire review. Actually, I think I may have already filmed it. Actually, I did film it, yeah. Um, but I already filmed it, a review on this stuff, but this is the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Conditioner. Um, I'll rave about it in my review, but long story short, this stuff is a miracle. It is kind of pricey. It's $36 for a 10-ounce bottle, but oh, I will never live without this stuff. I freaking love it. It's amazing, and that looks ridiculous. Okay, sorry. Um, Anyways, yeah, I will never live without this stuff. I love it so, so much. I use it every time I get in, get out of the shower. Um, it makes my hair feel so smooth, so silky. I just can't say enough about it. But anyway, yeah, my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite product of the past two or three months, I guess I should say. And then the very last thing is a fragrance. Um, I have been thinking about doing a perfume collection. I've had some requests for it. I just don't know what the interest would be in that but if you guys want to see it I'll, I'll do one for you but uh, I've used this for a long time but I actually just got a new bottle of it recently and um, this is the Ed Hardy it's like the first one that came out it's not the new one but like this is the container and then you pull this off and of course there's a perfume inside this is just this is absolutely all around me that's all I can describe it it just smells like something I would like it just smells like me um, Every time I wear this, everybody's like, oh my god, what are you wearing, what are you wearing, what are you wearing? And I hate saying Ed Hardy because I was just like, so, uh, such a douchebag line. No offense if you like Ed Hardy, but my god, come on. Let's let's calm down with the glitter. We're grown-ups here. We don't need everything to sparkle, Ed Hardy. However, um, it is absolutely win on your perfume. But, I don't know, it just smells so good. I can't describe, I'm terrible at describing scents, but... It's crisp, it's clean, I think that's the thing I like about it, it smells really clean, but it still smells kind of girly, I guess, I don't know, I just absolutely adore it. And then the last thing um, that is going to be my favorite this month is this little guy. I got him at Ross, her I guess I should say, but it's like, it's actually a jewelry holder, but I kind of just put, it's on my vanity, and it's a shoe, so makeup and shoes, ha ha ha. Yeah, so like I put like my soft lips in here, I've got one that's in my purse that usually sits in here, um, I have my, I'll usually set my, um, like my pencil sharpener, like my eyeliner pencil sharpener here, like my curler, just kind of random stuff that 
is kind of just normally sitting out on my vanity. I'll just kind of put it in that thing. But I thought it was so cute. It's like six bucks. Sorry, guys. This is annoying me as much as it's annoying you. But anyways. Um, but yeah, it's like six bucks. And I just like, wow, it was really cute. Good deal. So I was like, why not have it on my vanity? Something to, you know, whatever. Um, but I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for my favorite. So really hope that you enjoyed it and if there's anything you really want to see like a, a full-on review like I said I've already done the review of the Miracle Even product that it's a tin stuff so don't ask for that because I've already got it and it'll be up shortly but um if there's anything you want to see a review on just let me know and if not I'll see you guys next time bye